everybody, I'm Doug Benson. Welcome to Getting Doug with High. Uh, my guest today is one of my favorite stoners. Stoner, do you like being called a stoner? Oh golly, pot, I don't care. Pot smoker. Uh, he, you know him from uh, Who's Not, Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> uh, frequent guest on Doug Loves Movies. Has his own podcast called The Smartest Man in the World. It's Greg Proops, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, <laughs> Doug. Hello, world of the internet. Hello, internet peoples. Yeah, that's the camera if you want to talk straight at him. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Hey. Not yet. What? No, yeah, we're going to start. Uh, I always set my alarm to go off right? okay, when perfect. it's almost when it's 419, and then, uh, and then we, we get right into it. So let me ask you, of all this stuff on the table, what's your preferred method of smoking? The J. Yeah, yeah. nice pick. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm old school. Uh, I, I'll dab, I'll bong, I'll do a pipe, uh, I'll do anything, basically. But How I are you at rolling them? Really good. Can you roll one right now? Yeah, man. I mean, uh, you know, no rush. We've got one made already, but I see that. there's some grinded up. Uh, I think it's a. Sativa. Want me to put it, in, use it in here? Yeah, however you want to do it. However, you, how do you do it at home? Do you do you mess up a plate? Well, at home. What does uh, the wife think when you mess up a plate with this stuff? I have my own little box that I keep. It's a <laughs> little shoe box that I bought at like a uh, one of those container stores, and I put a little logo in it of my own, and I, that's where I keep all my stash and. Uh, don't come to my house and don't ask me to do it for you, but uh, no, that's how I do it. See, sexy European filter. <laughs> yeah. That's how I do it. And this is really well ground, so you have to kind of be careful with the filter because sometimes, as you know, when you put a filter in, the, the dope will come shooting out the end. As I know? <laughs> I've, that's one thing I've never, uh, I can make a pipe out of an apple, which I should do on an episode sometime. Yeah, you should. Uh, what about the Coke can? The improvised uh, I hotel. could settle for that. May I borrow your pen for a that's moment? That's rough. Yeah, sure. This is for the tamping expedition. <laughs> and, uh, um, but I dev I've never, I've never become a joint roller. Look at that. That's how we do it. Well, then now, now we got two rolled. When it when it's four twenty, we'll uh, we'll both start smoking. Yeah, we'll lift off. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> three weeks in. We haven't thought of that with our whole space theme set. <laughs> that's all I can think of here. We're gonna visit the Andromeda Nebula. Yeah. Have you seen Gravity? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so. Good. Is there any gravity in the movie? There isn't, right? They just float around. Yeah, it's very poorly titled. They should have <laughs> called it Up in the Air. Oh, wait, that was taken. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anti gravity. Oh, brother, where art thou? Yeah. Um, most, most, of space. Cl most of Clooney's other titles would have been better. <laughs> 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 you're already laughing like you're high. I know. Well, you, I it's find fun. you know I'm amused. This is what uh, I, I'd say. You're my uh, pot mentor, maybe, or uh, what? What would be a better expression for? Uh, you're I'm the sure. person that really turned me on to it. Uh, yeah, was it that weekend in San Diego? So no, it was a, a week in Walnut Creek with oh, uh, Brian Posehn. Oh, yeah, I remember that week. Yeah, the three of us drove out there every night, and you guys were both, you know, pretty, pretty constant users. And uh, I hate, that's not a good word, users. Well, well there's a lot of Ariana. You Puffington. enjoy it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we um, we smoked a lot that week, and I loved it, and I've smoked ever since. And I was like 28 years old at the time. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I guess I started in high school. Uh, you know, the other kids, what can I tell you? I was, I was hesitant at first. And then, but did you get high the first time? No, that's what happened is right. I tried it in high school yeah. with some hippies that live next door right. and in a circle and just trying to fit in. You know, a couple of hits off of probably something even smaller than these. And, it, the, and so I'm just like, yeah. what does that do? Yeah. So I walked away, stupidly. I remember trying a few times and not getting high, and then I remember my friend Forrest and I were up in the hills in San Carlos, California, where I grew up, and uh, we were huffing on you know, a pipe or something, and then I remember he disappeared and came back like 10 minutes later and went, I don't know how long I've been gone, man, and I thought, <laughs> now I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> Time and space have bent back on themselves, and this is what the uh, ideal effect was. All right, let's go. I'm tired of waiting for this alarm to go off. Let's just go ahead. Ring, 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 ring. Let's go ahead and uh, smoke these. Ba -na 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 -na. So you, can, you can light ba -na 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 -na. the first one. Thank you. I'm not. It's 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 19 after the hour, so I don't know why my alarm didn't go off. I, maybe I said it for right at. It is 19. 20 after. I got 19. Yeah. So, good job, Doug, with your alarm. Yeah, I said it for 20, and there it goes. <laughs> is this the ashtray too? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can just ask right there. Mm. Mm, this is some. This is cranking. Oh, it's called sweet and sour. I think it's a sativa. It's my for my friends over at a dispensary called Oz, on Santa Monica. 
And uh, this is where they shot The Wizard of Oz in this studio. In this room? I, well, not it, possibly in this room. There's Munchkin remnants almost everywhere you look. Um, but I believe on the, I believe on the slot. <coughs> Wasn't okay. this MGM in the in the thirties? Mm. Well, there's actually MGM a few blocks away. Oh, well, maybe that's where it was. But we're yeah. close. Yeah, that's what counts. Yeah. No, this, this is, is uh, this is dank. <laughs> Sweet and sour. Oh, like look, it. and it has a little Asian emblem of sweet and sour on it, too. For that yin and yang, sweet and sour, mm -hmm. night and day, black and white, Doug and Greg. But they didn't put on their sativa or indica, which uh, mm, disappointing. I, I, I like those labels. I do, too. I'm, I think I prefer indica because um, it explodes your mind more. But sativa is what I grew up on, because in the old days, we would smoke in the 70s uh, Colombian red and Colombian gold. And then um, later advanced to, uh, in those days, I don't know, you don't see it anymore, maybe you do in the dispensary's tie stick. And it really was on a stick, and it was wound with a horrible little cord thing that you had to pull off. And the hash oil, which I think has made a comeback some, somewhat, because the people dab so much now. Dabs, yeah, dabs yeah. knock me out. Yeah, they do. But the hash oil in those days, you'd put it in the J, right? You'd mm -hmm. like ride it along, or if you wanted to be super groovy, because you'd smoke in those days in indoors on your cigarette, and then you'd smoke it when you're in a club and be like, I'm getting high, nobody knows. Um, but now you can bring those little puffer pipey things that you showed me. You know, like the, electric you? Ones, the electric ones that you push the button on? Oh, yeah, yeah. You heat them up in your computer mm -hmm. and whatnot. Well, yeah, heat there's them up. a bunch of different... I'm uh, 100. You heat them up in your computer. Mm -hmm. In a warming oven. <laughs> 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 well, let's get into your uh, high history, just mostly because we have a graphic that says high history. So. Okay. Because you've already sort of told us that you, when you started. In the 70s, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm that old. Uh, mm -hmm. And the weed was very different then. It cost, when I first started, $10 an ounce. Now it's $400, $500 an ounce and more. Um, it was $10, then it was 15 and it was 25 and then the good stuff was like 35 And that was lumbo, as we called it in those days. Mm -hmm. And then by college, I started to see more purple and uh, a lot more indica and a lot less brown. Uh, and you could get caught in the 70s and early 80s with uh, what we called reggae, which meant ragweed, and then it had loads of sticks and stems. And it didn't get you that high, but it exploded when you smoked it, so it was quite dangerous. And uh, it just gave you kind of a mad headache. Um, and that's my dope history. And then in college, we, used to, <laughs> we would walk around the dormitory and, and walk by rooms, and if anybody was huffing, we'd bang, bang, bang on the door, hey! You know, we just totally barge in and... You yeah, know. that's that's my life now. Yeah, right. If I'm anywhere and I smell smoke coming through a door, yeah. what are the odds they're gonna say no to well, me if I knock on yeah, the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Doug They're Benson. like, hey, it's that guy. Right. No, sure, come on in. You're the mascot. No, you you, you, <laughs> you get you have, you have get, you get rights. Uh, and then when my roommate and I would uh, steal joints from each other, we knew where each other's box was with a stash in it. And if you'd run out, you'd just... Uh, and so it started with, uh, I took a joint and we'd leave a note, and then it start, then diagrams. I took a joint this big, and then later, of course, 16 typed pages, you know, I took a joint this, you know, then it became that. Then we would hide on the, um, we lived in a balcony in San Francisco State, uh, we had a balcony in our room. You weren't supposed to go out on it. You could climb out the window, basically, and there was a horrible precipice ledge. And we would, uh, sometimes I would go out there naked, and we'd stolen a stop sign, and I'd hold the stop, I know he'd be coming home drunk, and I'd hear him fiddling with the door. Uh, and I just quick jump outside and be holding the stop sign, and the room light off, and he turn the light on, and be, ah! you know, because I'd be outside, fourteen stories up, with a stop sign with no clothes on, and uh, I don't think I'd do that now. <laughs> I think it was something about being nineteen or twenty that uh, your the heedlessness with which you approach each day. Who's the most uh, famous person you've ever smoked with? Let's see. Uh, Mick Jones from The Clash was one of my favorite ones. Uh, Carrot Top. I uh, got high with that. Can I, can I say that? I don't want to out Carrot Top. He, he, his audience might freak out. but uh, um, That's a pretty good one. Uh, do with, that with, makes sense. With like if, when I get high, I think I should glue two things together and write a joke about it. <laughs> I'm going to put in a little truck and make a joke out of it. Uh, with Ralph Bone and... and uh, uh, and care to talk. Uh, yeah, Mick, I went to, I was playing Texas years ago, and I was down on my ass every night, and uh, this English band came in called The Farm. This will give you an idea of how long ago it was. They did All Together Now, and uh, they were kind of greedy <laughs> from Liverpool. Anyway, they came and they go, uh, we're playing on a Friday night uh, uh, at Xenon or whatever in Dallas. And like I said, I was going up every night and just dying on my ass. I was too, it was AJ Jamal was the head on, I don't know if you remember him. I do. Very energetic man. Mm -hmm. They used to do prints and all these impressions. Yeah. And I was the only white person on the bill. So they politely tolerated me, which as you know, is worse than being booed. It was this at the end of every. Mm -hmm. So the staff Thanks watched me. By. Yeah, the staff watched me just be the most mediocre comic ever. So 
on the night we go to Xenon and I go with the whole staff of the club from the Dallas Improv or whatever. And one of the band comes and gets me. And the next thing I know, I'm on stage with Big Audio Dynamite, right? The drummer from the other <laughs> band. So they've watched this hacky comic who can't get a fucking buy a laugh. And I'm like, hi, everybody. They're all in the front row, right? And then I'm like, uh -huh. Yeah. So that then I had a couple J's rolled. Uh, against the advent of possibly meeting Big Audio Dynamite. So when uh, Mick Jones came in, I went, do you want to smoke a spleef? And he went, uh, uh, too, right. And I remember uh, <laughs> his arms were like embryo arms. He had little baby embryo arms with no flesh on them at all, you know. And you remember the Big Audio Dynamite they did, uh, what was that one? The horses are on the track when we get to the door. Sure, if you say so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Early 90s, like, white guy hip-hop. So that, wait, so who's the most famous? Mick Jones was in the class. He was the guitar player in the class. Sure, but uh, uh, you, I didn't anybody more famous than I him? met Paul McCartney, but I didn't high with him. Uh, mm. uh, Missed opportunity. I know. Well, but we were inside a room, too. I don't think it would. But I know he got high and watched TV because he recognized everybody from Who's Line and talked to all of us. And I thought, oh. You know, for, there was the moment yeah, of, why yeah. are you talking to us? And then, oh. <laughs> There's four channels in England at the time. You're smoking weed and watching Who's Line, man. And that's how you knew. I didn't, I, I'm mm. offering you a non-green hit right now. Yeah, buddy. Oh, dude. <laughs> what, am, what am I, one of the ladies of rock? Is that, where's the carb on this? I don't think it rocker. has one. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, you, you just, uh, if, you, if you want to finish off T that bowl. T minus four. If you want to finish the bowl, you can just pull the, the thing out there. Yeah, when you're uh, satisfied with how much smoke is in the... That's, that's a good hit. Kittens del giorno. You know what you're doing. I'm, yeah, around the block, I've been. Mm -hmm. We get Twitter questions. I wish and, I had a better... Uh, I know I must have gotten high with someone more famous. Although I think the clash is pretty it good. It might come to me. you later in the show as, as we will. get more high. Sure. I mean, mine is going to always be... Ooh. I don't think it'll ever top it. Is one time I s was at a party and a joint Sweet. was being passed around. No, with uh, Brad Pitt. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, but that was years wow. ago, and I, have, I still haven't topped it. Yeah, no, yeah. Because who's more famous than? But Brad nobody, Pitt? nobody, and like he gets bigger every year because yeah. he well, he won't die. He won't be just a movie star. He'll have like a, there'll be a commercials on TV, and they'll show him, and the flag will be waving, and they'll go. Brad Pitt was a person who cared yeah. about humanity. Won't you join the Brad Pitt he Foundation? He adopted everyone. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's four thousand children who eat Tootsie Rolls because Brad threw them to him. <laughs> First, he used to be with Jennifer Aniston and go to Taco Bell, but when he married Angie, he had to hold AIDS babies, and the whole bullshit was over. <laughs> or it was just beginning. It was just beginning. Depending begin on how you look just at it. Just beginning. I'd rather be with Jennifer than... Uh, Brad Pitt. That's Ange a Ange Angelina seems like a lot of work. But do comedians count? Because you get high with lots of comedians, but that's not, you know, come on. Right? Yeah, I, you know, and I've missed out on, I, you know, of course, I never met Carlin before he was gone. That would have been a good I one. I met him, but I never, he didn't get high with me now. Right, that would have been a really good one. Mm -hmm. Golly, that would have been a good one. And I never got I never got high with Bill Hicks, but I, I did hang out with Bill Hicks a little bit. Not very much. But. I worked a bunch of times, a lot of times, with Tommy Chong, but he, the whole time he was on probation. I was going to say, so he never smoke. got, he never he smoked with me. <laughs> yeah, so that was silly. Disappointing, that, that one. That was silly. Uh, but AF Chris seventy seven on Twitter wants to ask both of us: Have you guys had a slumpy time in your lives, careers? How did you pull yourselves up and out of it? I'm sitting right here and I can hear you AFI or whatever. Get off my ass about the slumpy time. Um, no, yeah, of course. He's accusing you of having a slumpy time as we speak. Yeah, yeah, that's the my this paranoia is, kicking in. We're at in. the tops of our games right now, uh, dude. Doing look at this, this on television, the space capsule, or the internet that we're in. rather. Finally, in I, our space capsule. I never dreamed that it would come to this, Doug. It really is exciting that one day smoking dope would be entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of, <laughs> I hope this is entertaining. <laughs> I do too. I hope it qualifies. I think the thing you do, uh, if I may address the question, was mm -hmm. uh, um, I, you find your own thing to do. Uh, Doug's been really, really helpful in my career, quite frankly. Uh, this is something he probably doesn't want me to say, but he's taking a big hit now, so he can't stop me. Uh, several years ago, he was re making one of his uh, fine recordings, and it was on 420, and he, he emailed me, and he goes, you want to come down and do a set at my show? And then I met his producers, uh, uh, who do his podcast, uh, Matt and Ryan, and I did a bunch of albums with them, and then they asked me to do a podcast, so everything leads to another, and I feel like that, those moments and those incidents really were what, uh, when I felt like I was slumpy, like I wasn't funny anymore, and I was, I was playing some club in Atlanta, and I remember I was just drunk and eating crappy food and thinking, I'm doing the same set over and over, and I, this is not the dizzying heights of comedy that I had imagined. Uh, and then the podcast and doing the albums with them and everything, and it, that, I think taking control of your own shit 
And Doug has been my role model for that because uh, uh, he's made his, all of his podcasts into such a going enterprises and really engaging the people. And that has been a huge lesson to me. I totally engage. What the do people, people give you show. at your shows? Dope. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes Jays, sometimes little bags. Uh, uh, a very nice blind girl in uh, Canada last week gave me a big bag of dope and, a, and like almost a half a gallon of maple syrup, like more maple syrup than you want to bring with you, you know? Yeah, like, because it was Canada, she's like this big a bottle, and like, I love you, and I'm thank you, and I like, I can't take that. You know, like, what are you, how are you getting that back well, into the states? In, in a grocery bag? I mean, like, it was, it was like grandma's squeezins. You know, yeah, it was yeah. big. Uh, books. You're trying to get to your seat on the plane. Uh, maple. Yeah, yeah. Coming through. Right, right. right. Don't have, big anybody. tub of maple. Yeah. Don't tap me. I'm I'm loaded with juices. Uh, I, uh, got, I get books. Uh, I got a, Oh, I wish I brought it now that you ask. A teacher made me like a Greg Proops Reading Club glassine card that she like put checks on and shit. That was awesome. Someone's made me little kitten stickers because kittens is kind of my mascot on my sure, show. Sure, sure. Uh, you have, uh, you're a big baseball fan though, yeah. right? So maybe, uh, you know, come up with some sort of baseball theme podcast. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, because then, uh, you know, you'll get invited to come to all the games for free everywhere. Oh, my God, and, you're right, Doug. You know. You're a genius. <laughs> See, this is why I've needed Doug at all these different <laughs> junctures in my life, because I'm just high, but he's high and thinks of things. Uh, <laughs> I should, that's the and I'm, you know what between... I'm going to call it, too? Like, Greg Proop's Old Time Baseball Hour or something like that, like, because then... Yeah. It, it, because I don't want to... I can talk about now. And Sound effects and stuff. Right, right. And you can talk about any aspect of, of like, there's games constantly. Well, I can talk Maybe about Maybe take the off-season off with the players. Well, no, that Or was... go to spring training and do podcasts from there. It's so genius. I love it. I think I'm going to do <laughs> it. When do you ever see a funny person talking to baseball players? No, never. And Well, Brody. Uh, and then it, but Brody likes, he lives I'm sorry, like that. Did I say a crazy person <laughs> talking to baseball players? A person who wishes he was a baseball player? I mean, I'm sure he you wish, wish you were one, but yeah, you've but never really up. tried like Brody does. No, no, no. Brody I gave puts that up. on the outfit and runs around the bases. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Yeah, That's yeah, embarrassing yeah. for me. But, uh, but we should we should maybe have Brody on the show, but um, I, I don't know where he's at with marijuana. I saw him in uh, I don't DC last weekend, and I was smoking smoking out of a vapor pen, yeah. and he was asking me about it, but never never right. indicated he wanted to hear yeah, it. Yeah, 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 didn't I didn't want to offer it, because I don't want to be that guy. Right. The guy's trying to not do it. You, yeah. I was bad enough I'm staying there smoking in, in an enclosed room with him, but you know. It's what we do. What are you going to do, Greg? Uh, I knew that you'd be very uh, very to write loquacious. down baseball idea. <laughs> You can write it down. <laughs> we could remind him during the break, Well, right? you were saying take the off-season off, but I, that's when you do old-time baseball. During the whole off season, I can just That's talk about just the nineteen. Talk about old yeah, games. yeah, the nineteen forty two Yankees and blah blah blah. Like, because I know all about that shit. And yeah, like, I can explain. And I know it. it comes up sometimes in your stand up, sometimes sure. in Smartest Man in the World podcast, but. You can't really get into it like you'd want to. Well, no, because and it, there's people out there that would want to listen to right, how much you'd just, like to get into it. Yeah, yeah, just that. Right. It'll be a niche podcast. It won't be top ten or anything. Oh no! But it'll come out of the gate strong because a new podcast on iTunes, all your listeners are new, yeah. and that's the that's how the shows are ranked is yeah. by new listeners. So like oh, you know your no show will shoot right yeah. to the top of the charts, oh. and then uh, like and then you people say, will notice it, and the people who are into baseball keep listening, and everyone else will be like, mm, it's the invitations I'm for looking me. forward to. Not, not for me, right. and everyone else will go, I don't, I don't like the baseball one. Yeah. Well, I do. Do it about hockey, right? Right. I do the movie one too, and then people go like, I don't like the movie one because you talk about movies, and then other people write me and go, you should only do the movie one, you know? And you're like, well, look, you yeah, guys, yeah. it's just a part time. Let's thing. tell people about that though. It's it's Greg Proops Film Club. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, I only use old fashioned names. It's the Greg Proops Film Club and Greg Proops Old Time Baseball Hour because they were, were trying to come up with names for the movie show, and, and it was like Proops Loops and stuff like that, and I was like. You know, at a certain point, film club is good. Cute will kill you. You know what I mean? I can be dead of cute. So, film club's good. And yeah, we Oh, we got to keep getting Doug. Speaking of cute titles. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Let's do, get I, Doug. do you want to use this weird Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the glass one. All right, and you get the green. I'll do the green. Take the green yeah, yeah, I'll do the Will Gear. Get hit. it. Get it. Grandpa um, Walton hit. I get the first one, Mary Ellen, and then you can come in, and I'll be doing other Walton's references for all the 20 somethings out there watching. You know, we planned a lot of stuff for this episode, but as I predicted, you're you're fine at just talking about whatever. Oh, I'll go on. Yeah. No, now that I have the baseball beautiful. podcast, I'm employed for the rest of the year, and this is what makes me excited. Can I go back and mention the movie one? It's yes, called yes. The Film Club. It's on <laughs> iTunes. You can download it for free, and we don't show the movie like Doug doesn't show the interruption movies. You can't. 
uh, we talk about the movie and uh, or whatever uh, in context about before, and then afterward we do questions and kind of bang the movie around. And I urge you to cue the movie up, and then you watch it, and then listen to the podcast on either end of it. It's That's not my that kind of hubris, yeah. taking questions about a movie you had nothing to do with. Yeah, that is. I wish Isn't I had thought great? of that. Yeah. At uh, first, I was like, "What am I doing?" And because then, then people will go like, "How come no sequel was made?" And you're like, "I don't know. I wasn't at the but meetings." But it's fun to guess. Yeah, it's that, fun that, to figure it out. I'll throw it back to the crowd because this is Hollywood too. I do it in Hollywood, so like half the people in the crowd are in, you know, some branch yeah, of the movie probably business. probably dust, or, but go ahead and try and finish it. It's fun traveling mind. around the different yeah. uh, words people use for when it's cashed or. What do they say? Cashed. Cashed is nice. Dust. Spent. That one is down in um, dust. Well, there might be one. More. Charlie Goodnight. That's, Charlie that's Goodnight. That's what I made up. Charlie Goodnight. It's the comedy club. Um, all right, we got to go to a commercial break, I'm sure. Because uh, <laughs> I've completely lost track of time. And uh, we'll be right back with Greg Proops, and we're going to continue to get Doug. <laughs> How's it going? Hit it. I worked at a gas station, but the other people who worked at that gas station in St. Louis uh, decided to create their own fraternity, Gamma Alpha Sigma. Gas. Gas. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of dudes yeah. hanging out in a house. And then I hit the stage, and I explode. By the way, I didn't know you were going to get naked. Somebody say someone's getting naked? Yeah! <laughs> Ernie once said that he was taking a cruise with his mom, and I was like, oh my God! And he's like, <laughs> why? Anthony, you have to guess true or false, or not, or legal or not legal, for each of the states that I name, and we'll see, uh, we'll see if you can, if you know where it's legal and if where it isn't. If you had to explain to people how to breathe, everyone in the room died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, uh, you gonna have a Hanukkah? What? A Hanukkah? You gonna have a Hanukkah? And I was like, um, I mean, like every year I'll have one. Yeah, no, where you become a man. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah. It was absolutely the craziest thing. Everything else out there is partying and women, and they're pure in their island. I talked to Nick one time after an hour and a half, I cut off my ponytail. And I mean, my dad and uncles died with their PTs on. All right, uh, welcome back. We're only uh, about uh, two, two minutes off schedule, so that's not too bad. Fantastic. Two, only two minutes over. We are so dug. <laughs> We've been dugging all we're, we're Morgan We're dugged long. out of our minds. Yeah. We're uh, hashtag uh, D-A-F. Oh, is that what it is? Dugged as fuck. Oh. Yeah. Just say yes to Dugs. <laughs> but seriously, though, kids don't. Uh, don't. I don't know how many kids are watching. Kids don't. But if you are, fucking get me some cereal. Right well, we're now. both. You're you're married. You have a lovely wife. But Thank we're you. both still married. I mean, we're both still in the not going to have kids club, right? Oh yeah, no. Yeah, yeah I love it. Love, it's such a great club. Yeah, it is. It's getting bigger every day. I love it. There's lots and lots of people going. Oh, that's a route. You yeah. Know, just don't have kids. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems like such a, a thing here in Hollywood too, because people really use their kids to network and stuff. I feel like if I had two kids Ugh, in school, gross. I could go to a lot more meetings. Yikes. See, that's the thing you were talking about earlier. We we don't have to go to meetings. No. There were, how many meetings happen to make this show happen? It, from it's just like, just let's work it out on the yeah, air. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking a wild stab. Let's get going. And I just came up with a goal. I want to know when we have, it's going to take a while, it may never happen, but when we have like the lowest show on network TV on any given week, if we have a higher number than that show had. Because as soon as that happens, then you put out, that's a press release. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's probably already happened. Nobody's saying anything. Like, but You some, know it's happened. Justin Bieber's internet channel probably gets... Oh, yeah, man. Does he have one? If he does, he shouldn't. Yeah. Let's do uh, Pot Topics. Okay. Pot There's topics. supposed to be a, yeah. Check it pot out. Topics! <laughs> is it because I sprung it on you too fast? Is that why the cue was like that? I'm sorry. Or are you as high as I am? That could be it. Uh, pot topic number one, Greg. We joked on a recent Doug Loves Movies that uh, we were going to talk about movies on the pot show and pot on the movie show. And since half of that already happened, 
I thought we'd move on to it here. Okay. First of all, someone, this is a question that uh, ties in to the uh, pot topic, and that is, uh, Greg Proops, what is, what is your go-to classic Hollywood movie to watch when high at home? Oh, golly. Uh, when, in the old days, it used to be Help. I had a, 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 v, a VHS copy of Help in the 80s, and I would come that home. That movie from, is so fun. Isn't it? It really it's is. The, that's it's ridiculous. Movie in the world. It's so it's, silly. And the songs keep kicking the in. The songs and, are great, yeah. and it's silly, and like, like they, you know, they invented fun music videos yeah. where like something's hap you know, Richard Lester made it, the songs funny. Yeah. Like what they're doing during the songs is yes. funny. The stupid snowman skiing right. around the, and stuff. Oh, I love the skiing part. That's my favorite. The and one of the best really songs good. in the movie. Yeah, yeah, I which one is it? I'm gonna be Ticket sad. to Ride? I think it's today. Um, That's a really good one. And the musical notes are in the in the telephone lines and they all come down. I like when they're in the Bahamas. I, I love Oh, yeah, that I movie's just it. true. That, so that was used to be, and now I would probably say, like, I don't know, Out of the Past with Robert Mitchum or something. Or Casablanca. Paul McCartney, for a few minutes of the movie, is shrunk down tiny. Yeah. <laughs> he gets shrunk. And he gets covered with soda pop and goes, I'm all sicky. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he's jumping around in a, uh, an ashtray and using beginning. a gum wrapper to hot, get, uh, cover so good. it. Because he's, of course, he's naked. He's not like, uh, right. he's not like these stupid thing. wolves in Twilight that get back into their clothes when right. they turn back into humans. You having, go back into Abercrombie and Fitch and some clothes. You, yeah, morph back into it. Yeah. The what's, what's your favorite? I'm sorry. What? Oh, help. That's well, your help, answer? I, I'll yeah, take sure. that as your answer. Let's go. Help. We don't have time. Because it is a really good one to get high lunch. I do like that. I People people just, ask me all the time this question, and I never really have a great answer because to me it's just like, I like I'm high all the time and right. I watch movies and I have fun watching movies when I'm high. Right. But, uh, I think one that would be fun to just intentionally just get very high and watch is, of course, Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, and the oh, Chocolate yeah. Factory. If I owned a copy of it, I probably would, but I don't think I own it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't pull it up as often. Yeah, I always just happen, happen to be high, and it's on uh, ABC Family oh, as the, uh, you know, the whatever Days of yeah, Christmas yeah, thing they yeah, do, yeah. where it's all supposed to be holiday movies. I don't know and why so Willy Wonka's a holiday movie. Because it's got movie. candy in it. Candy That's the only and Christmas. Reason. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Christmas. It's a horrible movie about horrible children. <laughs> And they, they die one by it's one. About, you know, yeah, it's about how bad kids are. Two bad little children gone. Yeah. Three good little children left. Yeah, so then, then they remake it, and <laughs> but let's have him act like Michael, <laughs> Michael Jackson. I hated that one. That I was really the weirdest that choice. It wasn't it? From it was that so choice weird. down, it was just... The ugh. original Willy Wonka and Help is the answer. So watch both of those. There you go. Rolling Stone released its list of the 10 best stoner movies. And now we're going to see if we agree. The Rolling Stone, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, this it's a magazine, gonna, right? Yeah, this is going to be hip. Those things that uh, <laughs> you uh, you read on planes without Wi-Fi? Exactly. The thing you read before That's you take off? That's the only time I read a magazine. Oh, and on the elliptical in a gym without Wi-Fi. Those yeah. are the only places. I read Thanks magazines for on planes. passing that over. Yeah. I read, uh, yeah. Number 10 is True Romance. What do you think of it? Uh, as a high movie, it's the, the viol I mean, if you're just talking about people getting high in movies, which is, I think, the narrowness of which, with which Rolling Stone has approached this category, uh, then yes, because Brad Pitt's character is, is tremendous. Uh, as far as <laughs> getting high and watching it, there's a lot of ultraviolence in it. So uh, be advised if you're sensitive when you're high. You okay, Pook? Mm -hmm. if, uh, like the scene where James Gandolfini fights Patricia Arquette is one of the great fight scenes in movie history, and she's one of the Cruise great. Them, though. But that's what I'm gonna say. Cruise like, them. if you're high, you may not be ready for the violence in that scene because it's nasty. It's rough. Really nasty. Yeah, it's but true. It's a when I'm super high, it's stupid, you know. And a movie starts to get crazy violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially like violence against women or children yeah, or something. Yeah, that's I always get freaky. Remember like the first Road Warrior. Like action out. movie, you know, like uh, you know, Kill Bill. I think is great when I'm high because so there's still. Even though there's things that are horrifying in it, it's still like. If there's seems, rape, seems I'd like check a cartoon. Right out. Yeah. Seems seems yeah, it doesn't. Like you say, violence against women. Anytime they're hacking up women, that's not the end of that for me. I, and I don't want to be high and see. It. I don't want to see it at any time. That I especially with emphasis on the act. I can watch them get hacked up. I just, I don't want to see rape. That's what yeah, I don't rape's want to see. Bummer. But they can get hacked up because that's usually a really yeah, dumb movie anyway. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually not. People aren't getting hacked up in Argo. Are the, I never want to see those when I'm high as much as I'd rather see Willy Wonka. And you notice the movies we pick uh, both have songs in them. They're both ostensibly musicals. Uh, and very colorful musicals with lots of psychedelic imagery in them. So uh, That's an interesting point. I'd say only one of these movies on this list is really a musical. I'll run down. Go. A nine is Soul Plane. Eight is Bill... No. Uh, Soul Plane. Okay. A lot of dope smoking. <laughs> I guess so. Eight is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. An inferred dope smoking. Yeah, totally. Like they don't. I don't. You never see it. No, they just act high. And then the opposite of inferred Friday. 
uh, number seven. Friday's funny. Probably, and and the ballsiest movie regarding weed, oh. probably since the stuff in the 70s. Um, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Mm -hmm. Sure, uh, that's fun to watch when you're high. How high is fun to watch when you're high. Yeah. Cheech and Chong's next movie is the only Cheech and Chong that made the list. A lot of people just prefer Up and Smoke. I was, but I watched Up and Smoke recently, and it doesn't really take flight. Uh, it's, uh, well, they're I, all slowly paced yeah. by today's standards. Yeah, they are. But yeah. I love Cheech and Chong, and I grew up with them, so. Yeah, no, they're, you know, and they're especially the some of their recorded stuff. It's they rake my eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> cool. Johnny, it's the way you act. <laughs> Your hair and friends are cheap. We're wondering, are you on drugs? I get high every night and do the marijuana logs with Tommy Chong sitting next to me reading jokes I wrote. Oh my God. And it was just, yeah. I couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah. It's like the craziest shit. Uh, three, Pineapple Express, which, uh, that falls into that violence thing for me. It gets yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. violent. Yeah, no, and it's just like, what, no, stop, what are you doing, don't, guys? Don't actually kill people. That's not funny. <laughs> uh, Fun injuries that seem real bum me out. Yeah, like yeah. when everybody's in full body cast at the end of It's a Mad, 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 Mad right. World. When I was a little kid, that bummed Upsetting. me out. Upsetting. It was like body those people cast, yeah. are, that's, that's got to be the most horrible pain you can imagine. Right. Every bone in your body breaking. Right. And they're all, in the last scene, we're all supposed to laugh because they all get hurt again. They get hurt again because they're yeah, all laughing so yeah, hard at yeah. At the noxious woman. Oh man, that, that movie's interesting. Okay, yeah, how are we doing on time? Mad Jesus. Mad World. Might I could do this all day. I know. Uh, Days and Confused, of course, which again, the hazing in it makes it less of a stoner movie for me. I didn't relate to it, even though it's supposed to be about the era I grew mm -hmm. up in, because uh, it, somehow it's a little too Texas and we never spanked each other. They do a lot of freaky shit that never There's made it. There's a lot of hazing in it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, Hazed and confused. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, bro, him. <laughs> no, in the area, we didn't haze each other. We just got high and fucking were cool. In Texas, um, they spanked each other and shit. I don't know what was going on. And number one, Big Lebowski. Again, there's violence in that. The last time somebody asked me, I forgot about it, though. Then I, it probably is my, it's my fluctuating one. Because I like it. I like there's days, a lot of I like days and confused. Well, there's attempted dope smoking. He's always looking for dope. I like that the hero of Knocked Up is, uh, smokes all the time. Yeah. And it's, there's some plot points involving his bong and stuff. Um... What was the third one I cited recently? Because I'm always, the list is always changing. Not a Cheech and Chong but one. But the third one was pretty pretty funny choice. For Not me. the Dave Chappelle one. Because I think, it only, had, I think it only had like one pot scene in it. Mm. What I chose, but it was a great scene. There's loads of movies where people smoke joints. Uh, just a joint or something. I always thought Thelma and Louise should have had a joint. But they drink a lot in it. Yeah, that would have been nice. For and them, something yeah. wild. Uh, I think that got written out and then they might have rethought the whole days. Grand Canyon thing if yeah. they were high instead of drunk Oh, yeah They got like let's let's not let him catch us. All right, let's go hide the Grand Canyon thing sounds great when you're hungover Like doesn't that scene happen in the morning? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, well, fuck it the cops are on my yeah. dick Yeah, but yeah, if you're yeah, high yeah. you're just like all right. We'll uh, yeah, we'll work. I'll this get out. a job in prison I'll work in the library <laughs> Yeah <laughs> <laughs> they won't break me. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's do this really Can we do the game really quick? Okay, let's do this game really quick. All right. Um, we're going to put up on the screen a series of words that are different colors, and the word is not the color, and you have to go quickly through them and name what color it is. Is this to test my cognitive powers while I'm high? Just to do some, just to... Oh, and Hot it's called Pop Quiz Hop Shot. And... Uh, you, yeah, you just Jack. just to see how you do on it. Jack. I think you're, are you I, high? I think you're going to do great on it because I think oh they've got rules. Say the color of the word, not what the word says. Mm -hmm. In order. As fast as possible. And go as fast okay. as possible. The proof the effect. <laughs> wow, they're really. See what I did? Uh, yeah. I reordered it because I'm dugged. Here we go. Okay, green, red, uh, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, green, blue, <laughs> brown. Yeah, I uh, think purple, so. Purple, red, green, uh, pr blue, yellow, black, uh, <laughs> purple, brown? Oh my god, he's getting them all right, right? Yeah. Were they all yeah, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Is it brown? What color is green there? Yeah, there's no brown anywhere on it, so I'm I'm suspect of this monitor. Is that supposed to be orange? I think, I, I don't know. I think. That's hard. Because why would orange wouldn't be orange, and orange is the same as green you on don't, there. You don't have to be hot. This is difficult. It I is, really it is but you were focused and you killed it. It's like I did better on my SATs when I was high Oh, no and super more. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. They wanted me to try it. Let me try oh, it. Oh, yeah, okay. no, good. Dog, dog, yeah, they please. had a new one for me. Okay, let's see. 
Fresh plus puzzle. Here we go. go. <laughs> blue, mm -hmm. red, green, black, blue, yellow, blue. <laughs> Don't read the word. <laughs> Don't read green, the word. Green. Red. color. Red. Concept, concept, concept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> red, uh, purple. Whatever that color was we decided earlier, brown, <laughs> uh, yellow, blue, green, brown, uh, purple, mm -hmm. black. Did it, buddy. Did I get them all right? Yeah, you did. God damn it. You, in the middle, you made me feel like I was missing something because you were laughing at me. It's, it's funny to watch a stoner succeed, even. <laughs> like, nobody gives a shit. Like, why, yeah. why is it still uh, uh, illegal anywhere? Why is there stigma? Who cares that this is happening? Yeah. They tried to shut us down the first week. Really? And by they, I mean like one guy, one smart ass. You know what I mean? Because we are in a building, which is interesting to me. Right. We're well, not on a patio. Everybody here, we give them rides home. Ah. Yeah, yeah, because they're all getting hot box. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, this is some responsible shit we're doing, Greg. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not driving, nor... Uh, and guests of this show stay at their own homes in Hollywood. If you're wondering why there's less laughter in the studio this week, it's because Jeff Ross didn't bring a bunch of people. Oh, was I supposed to bring a bunch of Jeff Ross's people? No, but you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's funny. Like, it's, I, I think this show's been hilarious, but it's like a different vibe because there isn't, you didn't bring some people to laugh at everything you say. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I'm to kidding. They didn't laugh that. at everything either of us said, but they were, they were a great audience. Yes, but it course. was an audience. Like, we don't, now, yeah. we don't have one right now. We have a professional crew that knows how to hold it in. I They're all trying to just stay, uh, not fall over at this point, I bet. Because we've been blowing pot smoke in their face this entire time. That's true, though. You guys must get really high. I did a gig a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, in, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Toronto, and uh, that place, of, you, you played the, the underground. Yes. And it's called Puff I had Moth. the fucking, last time I was there, I had to sit down on a couch. They brought me a cold towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, fuck. Right. And it's not from smoking. They're blowing in your face the entire smoking. time you're trying yes. to do your act. Yes. It's not from smoking. It's glorious, but it's also, you know. Yeah. Because I smoke maybe half a joint, and, you know, that's okay. Groovy. I'll do a show on that uh, a podcast. After an hour, the po I did the first hour, I came out swinging you. I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to tell this story. Second hour, okay. And then, like, <laughs> oh. And the crowd slowed to nothing. All you saw was 80 people smoking joints for two and a half hours. And I thought, I'm too high. I can't. You know, now I've reached the point where I'm just like, Look, <laughs> this is so soft. <laughs> and someone had given me a candy bar and whatnot. That was a good one. Someone gave me a unicorn at that show, a candy bar. I was given a box. You were asking me what people give me. I got a box that was a little bird that you push the thing and like, a, you know, 1890s thing. A little cigarette rolls out and it, the bird picks it up and it's... So you could, of course, theoretically put J's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box. I love it. I still want an answer on most famous. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about it during the break, and you, 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 there's got to be somebody. I know. I mean, the Clash is pretty awesome. I know. I don't know. It's pretty awesome, but um, let's go to another commercial. Maybe somebody from the last few decades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to a commercial, give you a second to think about it, and um, yeah, we'll be right back. Cheers. A mailman. What's he like? He's got a good body. So if I possess that, I'll get to be out of this much chunky, chubby devil. So Eric, I wanted to apologize for not accepting you on last comic standing. I was a judge, and I didn't let you go to the next round. But it wasn't Can you imagine up to me. if I had the career Dap Fam is having right now? Dap Fam. <laughs> world today you're so good to me i know but i can't change tried to tell you but We're back. 
Yes, we are. Thank you for, thank you, co-host Greg Proops. Uh, on Twitter, somebody asked, uh, could you pull out of your extensive repertoire a Joan Crawford or Grey Garden's Little Edie impression? This is from at Mish underscore the underscore dish. I don't know if I could do Joan Crawford. I can do one line from Mildred Pierce. I learned way to sing the hard way. Adam and Eve on a raft. What does that mean? Oh, she's, that's what she's, she's giving she's the order. A, she's the a waitress. Adam and Eve on a raft. But I don't even know if that's really the line in the movie, but that's what we always do. I'm better at Betty Davis, I think. And what will you have, Eve? A milkshake? <laughs> I'll have a martini very dry. All right. That was Adam Baxter. Okay, sure. If you say so. Uh, I'll give you some old movie stars. Smartest man in the world, and you, uh, you know, you, you've, people have seen you do it right here on this show. You've smoked quite a bit, and uh, you still give everybody like some crazy uh, obscure baseball <laughs> fact that you that you just know. Well, for instance, uh, Willie Mays was hitting 477 at Minneapolis before they brought him up, and uh, Leo DeRocher called him on the phone. He was like 20, and. Uh, they pulled him out of a movie theater. He was at a movie in Minneapolis. And the movie theater over the loudspeaker, they went, Willie Mays, go back and call New York or whatever. So he, go, he went back to his crib and he called New York and Leo Derescher said, I want to bring you up. I need you to play center for the Giants. And he went, I can't hit the pitching, Mr. Leo. And Leo Derescher goes, what are you hitting at Minneapolis? And he goes, 477, and he, which is quite high, if you have to know that. It's quite dug to hit 477. <laughs> That's almost half your at-bats or hits. And Duretsch goes, do you think you can hit half of that for me? <laughs> Which is a baseball kind of. <laughs> if you're into baseball, that was a fun story. I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> but just all the facts and figures and information that you have I at your disposal is, is impressive, though, mm. at, at, this, at this point in the, the uh, session we're Wait, having. Was there a carb in this? On Willy Wonka? Uh, oh, there it is. There's this thing right there. And that's a, uh, yeah, we were calling it the Willy Wonka pipe. Well, this is like smoking out of a sea creature, don't you think? <laughs> With the way the coloring and everything. This is like, we're in the Bahamas or whatever and we're skin diving. It's a pretty one. Do people skin dive anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm uncomfortable with the expression for some reason. Right Let's say skiba. I don't know why. Skiba. I don't like skin anything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's never... You, know, why, you hear the word skin in a sentence, it's never yeah. never a good payoff. The coloring on that pipe is fantastic. Isn't it neat? It's yeah, from, this is uh, like Captain Nemo. Chameleon Glass out of uh, Arizona, Phoenix. Uh, Scottsdale, maybe, specifically. <laughs> Oh, here's uh, a better baseball story. They gave me this. Okay, here we go. P. Rose, we don't have too much time. P. Rose, uh, uh, uh is having an affair, and he, he's taking this girl about 200 miles uh, out to another hotel, and the wife shows up at the hotel, and there's another ball player there with him, and he goes, you got to go downstairs and handle my wife. And the guy goes, fucking go downstairs and talk to your own wife. He goes, I didn't drive 200 miles to fuck my own wife. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was peppier. That was a good one. And kind of insight into both their character, but there you are. The, but that rocked the room, you know, like they, you know they're, they're trying I, to I not made, laugh. I came back after the A room that's story. trying to not laugh laughed at that one, so that's, uh, that's impressive. It's a good punchline for Pete. Yeah, yeah. Hall of Fame punchline. I'm staring at my notes like, what's supposed to happen? I finally figured it out. Um, Are we closing? Well, we're getting there, but this is just something we have to do, <laughs> and that is uh, you have to watch a magic trick. Okay. Right. I don't have to do it, do I? No. Because I don't know any. It's Gabe time. This Gabe is Kaplan? This is my friend Gabe, uh, okay. and he's going to do a, a magic trick for you. Apparently involves some cards. I try not to watch. Do you get I don't, I'm not that into magic, uh, even when I'm not high. But uh, are Greg, you doing your trick yet, Gabe? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to start now. You mind telling okay, me here we to go. stop anytime? Stop. Okay, right there. Take a look at this card. Yes. Got it over there? All right, I actually made a prediction of what card you were going to choose okay. before the show started. And I put it in the joint that Doug was smoking earlier. What? My Which joint? These wasn't? I think this one was mine. All right, Greg, you mind taking the crutch out of that joint? Oh, buddy, that's just a giddy. All right, I'm, this, you know what? I, I'm not a big magic person, <laughs> you know but I'm what? kind of grooving on this trick here. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, well, so far, except that I have no dexterity with my fingers and obviously can't pull the... Uh, 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 uh. Should I say what I know it is first before I unwind this? That works. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did we show the card to the camera? It was the nine. Well, oh, you're not supposed to know, are you? Oh my God. That's it? That's the card. Right there. A very, very, very tiny nugget He put diamond. it in a shrinking machine after you picked it. 
And Card then, trickery. And then uh, no camera trickery, by the way. I can attest to he that. He teleported it to yeah. the to the plate. Like Willy Wonka, he sent it through the Wonka Vision and made it smaller. That's right, Mike TV. <laughs> yeah, look at me, Mom. I'm a TV star. <laughs> Mike, and he puts him in the purse. Oompa loompa. Take him, to, take him to the stretching room. My favorite line in the whole movie when she's a blueberry, Violet. Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. And Willie says to Oompa Loompa, take her down to the juicy room. And the Oompa Loompa says something to him and he goes, no, of course I won't hold you responsible. <laughs> <laughs> he totally throws it away. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oompa Loompa goes, <laughs> no, I, of course I won't hold you. In case it's she always going to be a weird. Blueberry juicing. It's always going to be a weird conversation when an Oompa Loompa wants you to bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> get, get close for this. If I had a nickel for every time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They they kind of do need to. That was a very good trick, Gabe. Thank you. Oh man. yeah, you're still standing there. Uh, thanks, Gabe. Good trick. Yeah. And, and it was a useful trick because it performed double duty as both a crutch and a what do they call it in a magic trick? The payoff. Mm -hmm. The the the, uh, the 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 prestige, of course. The prestige. I didn't mind that movie so much. Was that the one with David Bowie? Or was that mm -hmm. Tesla? Mm -mm. I mean, he played Tesla in Prestige. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. then I saw it, I think. Yeah. Huh. Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman, I, I liked it all right. There's a lot of hats and whatnot. Yes, yeah, so many hats. All right, I gotta find the f closing out cards. That show went so fast. It certainly did, I can't Doug. believe it. Doug, you're really on to something here. Getting Doug with you is a, a very, uh, Exciting experience, and um, it's a new, innovative television, in my opinion, um, or Wonka Vision, or whatever you're watching, a personal handheld communicative device division. That's a promo right there, just all that just happened, him saying all that, and me just looking through my cards, like, what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're so, talking about how innovative it is. Yeah, I watch urge, Doug fumble around. I urge you. You won't believe it. On the interweb <laughs> to tune into Getting Dead with High, because... Uh, a cataclysmic revolution in uh, how entertainment's delivered in, on about 500 different levels, some of which you're not even comprehending yet. Ready? Go. Greg's plugs. Oh. You're going to be. Uh, you have a stand-up special that you're uh, uh, that you taped uh, called Live at Musso and Frank, and it uh, dropped yesterday. Uh, and you can everyone can get it at chill.com/proops. P R O O P S. <laughs> it's not as painful as it sounds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, oh, isn't oh, it? Oh, get this dreary album, you guys. No, it's. it's no, I meant the website, chill.com slash poops. I just thought, ugh, that's a very horrible combination of words. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> sure, but I also wasn't, I wasn't selling it very well at that point, so I thought that's what you were making fun oh, of. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not a dreary show. It's funny. Uh, and we did it at the Steakhouse, uh, the oldest restaurant in Hollywood, up on Hollywood Boulevard. I think, didn't we just, we just did a whole show with a comedian who didn't insult me or the program or the, anyone around or people's clothes. Is that what we do? Set? Should I insult people? No, I'm just saying, it's just, it's just funny the different approaches people have to, uh, to nice humor. Nice set. <laughs> yeah, try one. What is this, TV from Uruguay in the 50s? <laughs> I need this in my life? Doug, I never knew you would come to this. When you were nominated for a Cable Ace Award for doing nothing in the 80s, it struck me. <laughs> you should have your own show where you just smoked dope. Maybe the public has more time to waste. <laughs> I don't think so. They're all, most people that are watching this are on the clock. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you God, know, I hope they're, they're, they're just sneak watching it at their uh, yeah, place of uh, employment. As I often say on my show, Wasted man hours are the sweetest hours of all. How long are you going to knuckle down for that person? You're just a wage slave, and you know it. Uh, have some fun while you're at work. That's uh, another, makes all another great promo for the show. And everything is written into the profit margin. Don't feel bad at all. Right? Seriously, if you work for a giant entity. Yeah. If you work for a giant entity that has corp at the end of it or something, you fucking about for a few minutes is not going to topple their pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, because I guarantee you the people who run in the company are like swinging on the Riviera right now like in the 60s They're swinging in black and white with sunglasses on and chicks and music's playing and they're spending all the money This is probably the exact dynamic of you and I sitting around uh, at the you know at the condo or whatever after a stand-up show on the road it's true, we have Smoke done that. Smoke and then just have this kind of conversation. Well, an eight-hour conversation about every scene of every movie that's been hilarious. 
But your podcast, which you remember, uh, your your podcast, Smartest Man in the World, uh, has recordings coming up October 30th at Cine Family uh, here in Los Angeles, and November 6th at uh, Bar Lubitsch in Hollywood, California, and November 14th through 16th in Cal Calgary. You're doing Smartest Man every one of those dates? Or no, Calgary, the, the mix? first night is uh, the podcast. The other two nights are some of my crispy, crispy, crunchy stand-up. Okay, cool. And I'll be at the Punchline in San Francisco Saturday and Sunday, October 26th and 27th. Awesome. At, at 420, both of those. And I'll be at uh, Fun 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 Fest in Austin, Texas, November what 5th. What do you have there? 5th and 6th. And this is continued. No, no, I mean, what do you have? At, like the, it, and then you turn it over, it just says getting high with Thurk. No, and then at, at this event, <laughs> Fun 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 Fest. Oh, what am I doing there? Yeah, what, no, what do, what do you have there? The, the joke passed so far along. You're supposed to say Fun Fun Fun. Oh, I see. Because yeah, it's a fun, fun, fun fest. Let's try it again. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'll who, be at the fun, fun, fun fest. Who are you going with? Kraftwerk? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you changed it. Mm -hmm. I fucked you over for yeah, a second. A little twist. Okay. Um, Do you only go I to festivals it. that have hilarious sentence like names? <laughs> or that are punchy ejaculatory it's phrases, have, exclamatory? Yeah, I just. Quit up and grab it fast. I was at Fantastic Fest. <laughs> Knock that fest. shit down fast. I was at Fantastic Fest right. recently. And, fun, fun, uh, fun. <laughs> Fun, fun, fun fest. I'm going to dreary hanging about doldrums <laughs> fest, which is right after the deep malaise festival with egg salad. I just something about me and fests, we just attract each other. You do. Like, You're the king of the fest. Like you always put on a fun show. I try. I do what I can. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> that seemed natural. Thank you for watching. And uh, we're live every Wednesday, Greg, at 4.15 PST. Uh, that's a fun game to play with stoners. They all uh, have some issues figuring that out. But of course, that would mean 5.15 in the mountain time zone and 6.15 central time and 7.15 on your east, east coast. coast. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you live in the it's, Hebrides. You don't have to be a genius like us to right. uh, figure that out. If you live in the Caribbean, <laughs> it's probably another couple hours away. And if oh yeah, and Alaska, hours away. Alaska, you see it an hour earlier. Really? Yes, yeah, so we do it, and you, you're watching it an hour what, early. What time is Alaska on? <laughs> no, I don't know. They're on some. It's weird when you fly up there. It's suddenly it's uh, you don't feel like you should be changing your yeah your device, but well now you don't have to. With this this beauty, it just does it. Yeah. Is it fun? That, I still wear a Is watch. it fun that moment though when you yeah. turn it on after you land and it's it still says whatever time yeah. zone you came from and you're like. <laughs> this thing's fuck, fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's and then, not, yeah, and then yeah. two seconds really? later, it yeah. flips to the right time. You're right. like, okay. I thought I was smarter close than that. Close enough. Close, you're close enough to on your game iPhone. Uh, thanks, everybody that just got hotbox in this room. Everybody that watches. Uh, Greg Proops. Uh, go see and do all of his stuff. And uh, we'll, have, we'll see you around. <laughs> we'll see you around, Greg. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. And um, we'll see you next week. Wednesday. And I'll see you on the other side of a strawberry world of your own making. You know how a close out of a show works, right, Greg? You yeah. I just say my closing line and then you, right, you just sit there and smile. Okay. Yeah, who do you think you are? TJ Miller? <laughs> <laughs> see you next Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson.